Hey guys, quick video today. Uh, so today I just wanted to talk about taking a quick touch into space. So this isn't uh, the touch that I'm going to be focusing on, but I just want to kind of recap um, the basic fundamentals. You see how sh like shabby, you see that like foot is kind of like pointed up. Um, I find it's really good to do it that way because, you know, you don't risk the ball rolling under you and, you, you, you know, you can focus more like on your surroundings rather than, you know, having the perfect like, you know, angle and like um, patting the ball at the with the right strength. You also notice that Chevy uh, jumps onto the ball. I find that, you know, it's helpful, especially when the ball is going quite a bit faster. Uh, I used to advocate that uh, you needed to, uh, like, land on um, the foot that you touched the ball with, but I don't really advocate that anymore. Um, I think you, you've seen my previous illness, like, if you want a quicker touch, um, I'd say, like, land, but, like, um, do it very lightly. Um, or even you might not land at all, because it gives you flexibility. So, since Savely like, comes really, um, uh, fast, you can take a quick touch without landing and like to their side, um, and if not, then you know you still have the option to, to pass in multiple directions since you're not totally committed to going down. Yeah, same kind of touch by Xavi in, in this club here. So you know, there's a slight hop. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but you know, like I find like almost all the time, like his, his foot's up here, and like you know, if you want to rotate out here again, just I'd say like don't generally don't like commit and like land heavily on your um touching foot um but you see here you know he just turns his body kind of like a lot of times you could turn your ankle out uh, depending on how far you want it and finally a similar touch by iniesta so here you see you know iniesta has his foot like kind of angled up slightly um i find a lot of times if you hit it like between like the sole of the boot and like the uh, side Kind of like that very edge there you get a lot more control it's a little bit harder if you want want wanted to um to make it easier i think more of the side of the foot but um if you want that really like really quick control like and you think um you can handle it uh, i would do like like closer to the sole of the foot like, like between that area uh but anyway you know again see that foot cut, like isn't stomping down too quickly and then you know uh, this defender here isn't pressing too much and he sees the space so it gives him the option to give that pass here rather than um, commit one way or the other so i find there's generally uh, two, two main ways that messi touches the ball into space you know not just like like as you said before as you said before you know has the foot up here you, you know control the ball when especially when it's on the ground and then it's more or less like at his feet um, uh, generally, you know, when, say, like, you're moving around and, like, you know, players are pressing you, you can't just have it there because, you know, they'll come at really close and maybe, um, you know, put a shoulder and try to, like, nick the ball away. But, um, you, you know, when they press hard and you see the space, you know, it's good to, like, take a quick touch and move with the ball. So here, um, let's look at this clip. So I find this is really good, especially for, like, um, balls that are in the air. Um, not, not ones that like, you know, just fall here right at your feet and then you can like get it right on the first bounce. Um, but you know, or, you know, generally a bit faster and like also in the air, especially if, um, they haven't touched the ground yet. Um, so, so this is actually pretty straightforward. So r rather than like, you know, have your like foot like pointed up like this, I think it's more or less, uh, um, kind of to the side. You know, since it's in the air, generally it's like falling down here. So, like, if you hit it there, like, with the right spot, um, in, my, in my experience, like, if you're careful, it, it generally doesn't like roll over your foot. Um, sometimes, like, when the ball bounces, like, it does have a tendency to go over your foot because um, of the momentum going up. Uh, but since it's coming down, generally, it's it's a lot easier to keep that ball onto the ground. And, you know, again, this is just common sense. Um, and, I, you know, I also watched, you know, Messi and, I'm oh, sorry, Iniesta and Xavi uh, control the ball, um, especially in training, but from, like, you know, law and, like, hev heavily driv driven balls. But, uh, you, you know, you just have that foot to the side, and, you know, as you touch the ball, you know, your knee comes back. Um, so, so it's not just like, you know, you know, your knee stays in place and then your ankle comes out. I think I find that's very inconsistent, uh, especially if you want to move fast forward. Um, uh, generally, you know, you just keep your, your running momentum, but, um, as you touch with like the, the foot as to the side, you know, you bring your knee back. So I guess the entire leg uh, comes back. And this is the second type of touch, um, when it's more on the ground. 
So, you know, as Messi is about to touch the ball, you know, he sees there's two people on him, so he has to take a touch into space. And this is on the ground, so um, it's a bit easier to control without having to uh, use the side of the foot. So, see, like, his foot, um, you notice carefully, it's, it is still angled up, but you see it's kind of like pointed to the side. And as you hit it, this is the main point, is you flop your foot down like this. You see, it comes down like that, and then you can take take a touch um, uh, into space and you know you get good consistent control with the, the foot still pointed up and I find that it, it's still like um, it has enough flair where like the defenders don't know where you're going right away. Now here's another clip to illustrate this touch. So just like you see that foot is angled up and it, you know as you touch that uh, ball that, you know that foot flops down like the toe comes down to the ground and then you you know, you have that touch into space, and in my opinion, it still has enough flair where, you know, the defender can't guess where you're going to go before you actually go get there. Uh, so here's just a clip of me doing it. Uh, there's not too much to it, uh, but I just wanted to practice because, you know, I wanted to be able to take a touch into space. It's like messy, you know, my foot's, like, angled up here, and then as it come down, like, you know, I chop my foot down, uh, you know, turn it slightly to, depending on how far I wanted to go. And then, you know, as I come to the other side, um, same thing, you know, with my other foot, you know. Um, sometimes it depends, like, it was bobbling a bit, but, you know, foot is slightly pointed up. I try to point it up as much as I can. And then, you know, as I touch the ball, I'm trying to flop my foot down rather than kind of, like, push it there. Um, I find that's inconsistent because, you know, when you do it that way, the defenders can kind of tell where you're going to put it. And, you know, you, your foot isn't immediately on the ground. You can't, like, uh, accelerate.